Well, we have with us the two uh, ILTA co-chairs, and they're actually coming directly from Las Vegas. I think they landed there in the last 24 hours. Um, we have uh, Maureen Babcock, who is Manager of Systems Administration at Snell and & Wilmer, uh, and Meredith Williams, Director of Knowledge Management with Baker Donaldson. Uh, we had quite a bit of excitement this year in the context of uh, moving venues and getting to Las Vegas, and uh, we weren't sure, and a lot of work uh, had to take place to, to deal with the fact that uh, the conference had to move uh, uh, around. So uh, how's Las Vegas, Maureen? Well, we are, for not being able to have um, our conference where we had planned all this time, and to end up in a facility like this at ARIA, we are just amazed. We just went through this morning, had a tour of where the conference center is, where our educational sessions will be presented, uh, the vendor hall, and it's, it couldn't have turned out any better than uh, than what we experienced. And to tell you the truth, this year we found that we got to experience disaster recovery firsthand, as many of our members have done in their various firms. So we, uh, we got conference disaster recovery, and it looks like uh, we've come through with flying colors. Right on. And so I guess the ILTA staff and the co-chairs and everyone – essentially had to deal with some pretty interesting uh, and exciting things. Uh, and on top of it, it's going to be an exciting conference this year. Maybe you can talk a little bit about what's exciting this year, what's unusual, or what's uh, unique to this year's uh, ILTA conference, uh, uh, you know, that is different maybe from previous years. Uh, Meredith, maybe you can talk a little bit about that. Sure. Uh, we took a, a little bit of a different approach to conference planning this year. Instead of having tracks like we've done every other year, we actually have four main areas of discipline. And then we actually have teams pulling from each one of those areas that are planning, say, about 40 or so sessions for each one of those quadrants. And so our team one is all around information management, which is like knowledge management and risk and all of those different things. And then our team two is all around organizational management and all of our C-level individuals and the decision makers. Our team three is all around the applications and the desktop and the actual day-to-day -day maintenance of all of that and how to make it work. And our team four is technology operations and the infrastructure. So we kind of took a step back and thought about how do, how do companies work day-to-day, -day, and that's really what we want conference to, to mimic. We wanted our conference experience for our users to kind of mimic what their day-to-day -day life would be like. And then we also took a look at what we wanted our uh, actual theme to be, and that really decided upon strategic unity, which is kind of the marrying of the, the lawyer and the technology. They no longer live exclusively separate. Now you have to marry those two individuals, which kind of mimic the two of us, <laughs> myself being an attorney and then uh, Maureen being a technologist. So it's kind of we, we took from real life and, and placed it into conflict. Fantastic. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of unique in that ILTA is, is really a, truly a peer organization. It's, it's organized by people who are on the ground working out there and working on behalf of their peers and, and delivering information that is very meaningful. How do you, uh, how do you pull together, uh, uh, Maureen, how do you pull together this program? Who's pulling it together? Well, we barely get out of conference when we start planning for conference the next year. So I think last year we had a whole three weeks to plan. And this year, Meredith, as she proceeds forward and as I move off, uh, has one week Good after day. conference to start. <laughs> and we actually start strategizing right at that point. So um, we're fresh off of the comments that have come in from the membership as far as the prior conference, what they liked, what they didn't, suggestions. And as part of the networking opportunity that the ILTA conference brings to all of us, we are also coming fresh off of having just shaken hands and met a lot of people at conference that we can then look at to contact to see whether they'd be interested in volunteering, whether on the conference committee or as a speaker or in any of the other number of uh, volunteer opportunities that we have. Fantastic. So, you know, if we're, if we're talking about uh, – the issue of networking, I think it's one of the most compelling reasons to, to show up uh, to the ILTA conference. What, what kind of context is there for networking? What can people do when they're, they're in ILTA? And that's, you know, on top of meeting people, you know, in the halls and, and chatting and, and going out and having uh, coffee breaks and stuff like that. 
there are tons of networking events built throughout the entire week, even actually starting the day before the educational sessions even begin. We have what we call communities of interest, and people can go to an international one or to one all around social media. Whatever their key topic is that they want to go and listen to, they can meet colleagues of theirs who are dealing and grappling with the exact same issues that they're dealing with at their firms, and then kind of meet them throughout the week and see what they're learning and taking back to their organization. There are lunches planned. Also, of course, all of our events in the evening where people can network. There are receptions for different peer groups like knowledge management or international, whatever it may be. So there are a lot of different ways where you get to meet the peers and the colleagues that are doing the exact same thing that you're doing in their organization. And, and it really to walk away from conference with those business cards in hand or, or in your BlackBerry, those contacts. There's so much to be said to be able to pick up the phone and call those individuals at any time throughout the year, not just during conference. That is one of the biggest takeaways I learned my very first year at conference, and I'm so glad that we still have that today. And so we experienced last year um, an explosion in the desire to social network. So we've added on this ability to utilize Twitter and utilize, um, actually, we do have a, a TV where we actually run the Twitter feed that's, that's being uh, generated by members at conference. But because we also do things such as built a TV and other virtual opportunities for people who are not at conference to participate and to connect, that networking has become more virtualized, has extended outward, so that it's not just the people at ARIA that can participate. It's really everybody can, uh, can get a flavor of what's happening here. Well, that's great. Uh, first of all, thanks very much for the plug for ILTA TV, and I'm looking forward to our interview uh, live uh, when we're going to meet, and I'm certainly uh, looking forward to seeing Aria and, and, and being in Las Vegas. It is an exciting city, uh, and I think that the location, from what I've seen, is uh, is quite quite amazing and, and uh, uh, going to be very conducive uh, to, uh, to uh, you know, kind of heads down, uh, listening and hearing what other people have to say, but uh, but also, uh, you know, being in a, uh, an extremely uh, uh, nice nice uh, environment. So I really want to thank you for joining in today, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you both uh, uh, shortly in, the, in ILTA. Thanks a lot, Maureen. Thanks a lot, Meredith. Thank you. Thank we'll you. see you in August. All right.